Hello, I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put a simple drywall patch into a hole in the wall. This happens to be an electric baseboard heater that I have pulled out. We replaced the heating system in our house and we no longer need the baseboard. So what I've got here is a piece of drywall that is oversized by one inch on each side and also on the top and I took my square and my utility knife and of course measured and scored along these lines here hopefully you can see that in the camera so I've got a score here a score here and a score here and all I'm going to do is, now this is, this is scored on the back side. Usually, usually you score drywall on the front side. Here I've scored it on the back side. And all you do is, once it's scored, you break it and pull the extra drywall off. So now you have this tab here. And I'm going to do that to the other sides too. Now I have the tab there and do it here also and now I've got the perfect patch which I had pre-measured let's see if it fits I don't know if it yep that one will fit perfectly okay and I'm gonna go ahead and spackle it in place now what I've got I'm using the setting type of spackle, which I've already mixed up. This is this is a 20-minute set. I actually prefer using this because it's it, it gives you a, a, a tighter, uh, a stronger patch than if you were to use something else. The the, uh, the pre-mixed stuff isn't quite as strong. Um, but in using the setting type, I need to wet it first. I need to wet the, the hole and everything around it because this stuff really sucks up the water. So here we go. The other thing I like about this is that it gives you the opportunity to mix up just as much as you want. And you're not buying a big tub. Well, of course, with the setting type, you have to get a, a full bag of the stuff. Okay, not the prettiest looking thing in the world, but that's okay. Now I'm going to butter the back of my patch here also. Now I actually make these patches just a little bit big and a little bit sloppy. Um, the the uh, but the actual the patch is a little bit small actually so it fits a little sloppy inside the hole I like to have that extra eighth of an inch around the edges to play with and that seems to to make it bond really nicely inside the hole now you'll see how I'm kind of squeezing the excess out around the edges here exactly what you want to do and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more on the outside here just if you were beginning if you hadn't done a whole lot of spackling before you probably just want to get the patch in place and not worry about putting putting anything on the outside. Now I don't know if you can see in the camera there are a few wrinkles around the edges here. Um, that will actually go away as it sets up here. And then it will be ready. A little extra stuff in there. It will be ready for another coat in about an hour and 
that's all there is to it. Uh, in an hour when I come back, this will be nice and nice and strong, and I can just to put two more coats on there before sanding, priming, and painting. Again, this is Carl with frugalberry.com. I hope you'll join me on my website, frugalberry.com, where I have lots of money-saving tips and ideas. Go in peace.